Hello, Miss Nelson in uh, New York. Okay, this is the kazoo that I emailed you about. I'm going to come closer. I'll have some still pictures in this video for you to see. This is the first application of beeswax this afternoon. I'll take it to the house and do more to it overnight, and then one in the morning and uh, have it ready for shipping when the mailman gets here. This is a four inch kazoo, has a red cedar body and a cherry resonator cap. It's got a beautiful, beautiful sound and a beautiful color and uh, grain pattern too. It's funny that you that you emailed me. I'd been thinking about starting a uh, new kazoo design that I was going to call a, a ladies kazoo or, uh, for a purse and uh, or for a pocket kazoo for a man. So I was going to call it a pop kazoo, yeah. purse or pocket. And I'm going to do a sound test for you of it. And what I do is I do two sound tests. I do a high-low to check, check the dynamic range. And I do a uh, power test to check the control when I put the power to it. Now, you mentioned singing in a specific key. There's nothing on a kazoo to alter the sound once it leaves your mouth. Unlike a flute that has uh, uh, levers you press or a trumpet that has uh, the valves you press, a kazoo don't have anything. I always say if you can't hum in tune, you're not ever going to play a kazoo in tune because what you put out of your mouth is what's going to come out of the kazoo. Now, I can't guarantee it's going to hit your full range because I'm, I'm not a musician. I, I'm just a kazoo maker. But uh, I'm going to do a sound test and I'm going to use my mom's old favorite song for uh, the high-low test and this might give you an idea of the dynamic range, my dynamic range, not the kazoo's dynamic range. Uh, it'll give you an idea. So I'll start with uh, Amazing Grace. Nice dynamic range and great control throughout the range. Now I'm going to do a power test, and I call this the as we go jig. And this is to check and see how much control I've got when I really put the power to the kazoo. A lot of power and great control. I think this is going to suit you perfect, because I know you said you didn't want anything really giant like a, a fat boy kazoo to, to go into church with. And this one you can carry in your purse or you can carry it in your hand, nobody can see it. But I think this would be a perfect one for you. And uh, I'll send this video to you and we'll, we'll talk on emails tonight. You take care and thanks very much for your interest in my kazoos. See you later. Well, old Doc Kazoo may be a kazoo, and I'll only say one thing. It's Doc's kazoo that I'm gonna play between the lines I sing. He makes them in his workshop, way out there in the wood. And the sound they play is mighty fine by George. They hum real good. Mm-hmm. <laughs>